UK, not on a national basis. Not on a national basis, Aussie. So you can make your nice, sweet, beautiful argumentations connecting it with race relations. Because all you're doing is you're mopping up exercise. You've got it politically in America. You've, they've got it politically in the UK. It's a case of convincing the rest of the public that are not in step with your fascist agenda. And that's what it is. It's a fascist agenda. Because nobody was allowed to vote in America nationally and nobody was allowed to vote in the UK nationally. So what you're doing is not debate and discussion and argument. It's just fascism. Because we haven't had a right to vote on it nationally in the UK and nationally in America. So that's the first issue with your argument. Uh, the second issue. The first issue connecting it to race relations, which is disgusting. Because what that means is if anybody critiques gay rights, if anybody critiques same-sex marriage, it's associated with, with, with the kind of racism. As it's equated on that level and it's not the same. So you're not debating rationally. It's, it's an emotional argument using the race card. You're not debating us politically because we've not had a vote on it politically in America or the UK. So you're not rationalist there. It's just pure dog. It's just pure existential dogmatism. Basically, I feel this way. This is how I feel. I want to get married. To a, I want to have a same-sex marriage. That's the way I feel. Therefore, you must accept it, whether you like it or not. There's no debate about it nationally. And oh, by the way, um, you know, just as people of different races should get married, I should. Therefore, demonizing me, if I take a different stand from you. Do you see what I mean? So. You, the race card is pernicious. The political card is fascist because nobody had a national vote in America. Nobody had a national vote in the UK. And then the philosophical card is a joke. I've asked gay people and I've asked atheists to give me intellectual reasons why same-sex marriage is right. And I've never been able to get anybody anywhere to give me a coherent argument. If you believe that in evolution, the moment you say, you use the words free, well, how do you get free will if you believe in evolution? There is no free will in evolution. So from your own system, you're using language that doesn't mean anything. How can you have free will and make a free choice to do same-sex marriage or whatever marriage if you believe in evolution, there is no free will, Aussie, in evolution, mate. Second issue, you talk about the word love. Where do you get love from? Where's love come from evolution? The words freedom and love are Christian terms. You're using Christian language and borrowing Christian language to, in order to explain your same-sex view it's not coming from your own culture where you all believe in evolution because if you believe in evolution it doesn't make sense you commit in a number of fallacies that you've not got out of that is art distinction the naturalist fallacy the moralist fallacy these are fallacies that your video has made I'd like you to explain how you get out of the mozzie and I'd like the gay rights activists to explain how you get out of the moralist fallacy, the naturalist fallacy, and uh, the is ought distinction. As Jean Paul Sartre said, because if not believing in God means there is no objective morality, which sums those three fallacies up. There is no objective morality, Ozzy. So, how do you talk about gay marriage and, and argue for gay marriage? on an objective basis. Where's the objectivity come from? Why are you demonizing or why are people demonized who object to same-sex marriage? In other words, there is no objective foundation for a morality. 
And once the boundaries have gone, the boundaries have gone. There is no end to where things can go in terms of if there is no moral principle of objective moral standards then you can end up doing anything and that's what's happening um, I, I, I take exception with the gay rights movement in America and the UK because what they have done and what the UK government have done and what the American government have done in, in their stupidity in not thinking through this issue because no one had a right to vote nationally no one had a right to vote nationally in America what you have done is basically you have criminalized tens of millions of Christians and Muslims and religious people you basically criminalize them in democratic society for a small minority for a cultural elite moralist agenda that nobody had a right to vote on nobody had a right to question nobody had a right to debate about nationally you basically took control morally speaking in America without a national debate without national vote and imposed a new morality without anybody being able to question it and debate it So basically we're not living in a democracy. All you're doing is the mopping up exercise for fascist regime in America and a fascist regime in the UK. That anybody speaks out against gay rights is immediately demonized and put in prison. Which is a disgrace. If a religious book, whatever religious book that is, and my book in the Bible says that it's wrong, Romans chapter 1 clearly states that it's wrong then I have a religious freedom in a democratic society to be able to say that I have the freedom to say that I have the freedom to object and I have the freedom to give my opinion without fear of intimidation and without being arrested it is not a hate crime it is a religious belief based on a Bible and that is my view and not only my view but it's the view of millions of people in the UK and America and they have a right to that freedom without being demonized by the gay rights movement without being demonized by you associating your views with racism because you can't defend your position on its own you can't argue for gay rights without using the race issue you can't defend the gay rights issue politically nationally for a national vote because you didn't do it you can't defend your gay rights position philosophically because if you do you would lose because you can't get out of the naturalistic fallacy the moralist fallacy and there is all distinction my friend so all you're doing is producing a new morality based on existential dogma this is the way we feel as gay people we've got no intellectual grounds for it and we've got no political mandate nationally but this is the way we feel and we will impose it on you and we'll get it written in law and if anybody disagrees with us they'll go to prison for hate crimes that is not democracy that is existential dogma being imposed on other people in the West it used to be what you believed you believed what I believed what I believed you had a right to go and do your thing I had a right to do my thing you want to do your thing you do it I want to do my thing I do it that's what it used to be in the West 30 40 years ago but the gay rights activists don't want to leave it like that they don't want to say I'm gay I'm happy you're Christian you're happy you're a Muslim you're happy you're a Hindu you're happy they don't want to leave it like that what they want to do is I'm gay and you as a Christian you as a Muslim you as a Hindu must agree with my position so we'll get it in law and if you dare say anything against us you'll be locked up and in prison why because it's our right and it's now in law end of free speech for anybody who wants to speak against you 
end of free speech. It's a minority view. It's a view that is a particular view. And if you want to do that, if you want to have same-sex marriage, then have your same-sex marriage in terms of a civil partnership. But if you want full-blown rights of marriage, then stop using the word marriage because that's not your term as a Western culture. That's a Christian term. You don't have a right in the secular West to take Christian language and then put it onto gay rights movement and use that language. Marriage is not a secular idea. Okay? The word marriage is a Christian idea. It's from the Western Christian cultural tradition. If you want to do it in the West, secular, and have your own secular ideas and do your secular civil partnerships, then you have my blessing. Go and do it. Happy as Larry. You do what you want. But don't impose your new morality, your gay rights marriages, using Christian language to make a new conservatism that nobody had a debate about, that nobody had a national vote about, that nobody can philosophically debate, that you can't answer intellectually. There's no intellectual grounds whatsoever for what you're doing. It's just emotional dogmatism. But don't try and impose it on everybody else. And you're, what you've done is you've criminalized millions and millions and millions of Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus because of the stupidity of not thinking it through what you've done nationally in America and in the UK and in Europe. That's how dumb Obama has been and that's how dumb um, Cameron has been. That's my view. The other thing as well, Ozzy, You've got the freedom to make your nice little videos, mate. But I've had a hound of militant atheists who've taken my freedom away. And that's the other hypocrisy of the atheist on YouTube. You've got the freedom to speak. I haven't got the freedom. I haven't got a channel anymore on atheism. And that's the new morality of today. Whether it be gay rights or whether it be new atheism, Double hypocrisy. You've got free speech. I haven't got free speech. Anybody who speaks out is demonized. Whether they speak out against atheism or whether they speak out about gay rights. When we were in charge, when ordinary people were in charge, you had the freedom. You had the freedom to say what you will, what you want. When you took charge, we lost our freedom. And that's my view on gay rights today. You want to be gay? I'm happy for you. You go and be gay. You want to do gay civil partnerships? I'm happy for you. Go and do it. But you didn't win the battle politically. We never voted it nationally. So don't intimidate me as if I'm wrong because I disagree with you. And you can't win the battle intellectually because you've not given any arguments for your position. I'm coming. So basically that's what I think we're not living in democracy anymore we're living in a new morality that imposes itself and it can't defend itself rationally in any shape or form if you say anything throw him in prison close his YouTube channel down that's not democracy I'd love to debate you but Ozzy your people took away my free speech mate I haven't got a channel on atheism anymore that's your atheism for you mate I'd love to debate you gay rights people, but you can't debate because you're not do you're not taking the debate nationally. See what I mean? Not free. No freedom in our countries anymore. You're taking it away because you can't debate in a rational, intellectual way, whether in America or in the UK. And that's my position. I'd love to have an academic debate with you people, but you're not willing to have an academic debate. Thank you.